Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to plan backups with always on availability groups in SQL Server. In this demo, we'll be looking at different options. These options appear when you create always on availability group on SQL Server, or after you have created, you can go back to AG group and go to properties and look at backup uh, options and preferences. So uh, in this demo, we'll be looking at the first uh, option we have is preferred secondary. What preferred secondary means is that uh, you want to run your backup backup will run on secondary replicas however if secondary replicas uh, go down then backup will run on primary replica number two option we have is secondary only so in this option this backup will run on secondary replicas if secondary replicas are not available your backup will fail number three the primary only in this option your backup will run on only on primary replica number four any replica it, right here the system would decide that uh, where it should run and uh, it really consider a uh, lot of parameters to decide where the replica should run and first thing that it looks um, in order to decide that where it should run is your uh, uh, backup priority uh, and some other uh, physical resources contention and everything um, it includes in that and decide that where it should run the backups Number five up, up here is backup setup on all replicas. This is um, when it comes to availability group, we need to create a backup script and we need to create those jobs on all the replicas. The reason we need to create our jobs on all replicas because uh, what if today uh, you have uh, one primary uh, server A, B and C and uh, today it's A, that is your primary and tomorrow let's say the B becomes primary if the backup jobs are not defined on um, server B then those uh, uh, those jobs are not going to run so what we need to do is we need to uh, mm -hmm. script the jobs and put on all the replicas that is involved in our AG group setup so number six up here which replica is responsible to take the backups let's say that we have decided to script our job and created the jobs and same schedule on all replicas how would we know that which replica will run our job now in order to resolve this issue this is um, first it comes to mind and it seems like it's an issue but um, Microsoft introduced a function which I'll show you in a second that uh, if you take a look the function runs and decide uh, based on our um, priority and preference that where it should which replica is responsible to run the uh, um, to run the backup and take the backup jobs will run uh, on schedule on all replicas however based on the output which I'll show you again um, the result if the return uh, output of that function is one then that replica will be um, responsible to take the backup of your databases that is involved in availability group so let's go ahead and uh, go in the server and take a look here is my server I'm connected using SQL Server Management Studio TBS SQL cluster backslash SQL prod is my SQL Server instance let's take a look on always on availability setup expand that expand AG groups and I have only one AG group called sales order underscore AG and right now is primary so this is my primary replica so let's take a look how many replicas I have I have only two replicas one is prime primary at this moment and other is secondary and let's take a look on the databases I have only one database in this uh, AG group and next thing what we need to do is set up our backups here are the steps I have written down for you. Number one uh, in this uh, uh, setup, number one, step one is create or generate backup script. Um, basically, if you don't know how to create the backup script, it's much easier. And I'll show you that how we will generate the script uh, for the availability group database backups. Number two, uh, append below function. This is the function I was talking about a little bit ago. That uh, this is uh, this is what decide that which replica should run your um, backup even though the backup uh, uh, script and jobs are on all replicas and all replicas has same schedule but which one is basically uh, responsible to take the backup so this function will uh, uh, decide that uh, who is going to take the backup as as you can see that if 
add preferred replica is equal to one if the results of this function is one then it's gonna run the script which is right here your backup script which i'll show you that how to generate that based on that uh, it'll run your backup and uh, what we're gonna do is follow these steps we're, don't worry about uh, this function you don't even need to remember i'll show you easy way to script it out and that function is included in that script and we're going to go ahead and take that script and create our SQL Server agent job. Once our job is created on our primary replica, at this moment we are at primary. And once that's created, we're going to uh, schedule that job, whatever our schedule would be. And then after schedule, we will script out the whole job and run on our all secondary replicas. That will make our job much easier. Um, in my case, I have only one secondary, but most of the time you might have more than one secondary, three, four. Uh, in SQL Server 14, you can add like six or seven uh, secondaries. So if you have more than one secondary, you need to script out that job and run on all the secondary replicas as well. So let's go ahead and execute these steps. First, we need to do is go in, generate the script right here. I'm going to click on management. This is a much easy way to create a, or generate the script. Right click on man, maintenance plan, new maintenance plan. You can name whatever you want to because we're not going to create a maintenance plan. Plan Basically, we're just going to grab the T-SQL that it generates for us. So click OK and click on tools and take the backup database task. Drag it over here. Double click on that. And right now, in this demo, I'm going to do just the full backup, and you can do the transactional backup using the same way. You can generate that script. So let's go ahead and select full backup, select one or more databases, select the databases that are involved in availability group. In my case, uh, sales order underscore new is a uh, part of availability group. I'm going to click on ignore database where state is not online, so it will ignore the offline databases. Click OK. I'm going to click on copy only. The reason I need to uh, click on copy only that if we decided to run our backups on secondary replicas, uh, if secondary replica does not, basically if, uh, um, no, if you wanted to run full backup, it, you have to run copy only backup on secondary uh, replicas. Uh, unless you decide that you wanted to run your backups on primary, this option needs to be selected. If you take away this option, you will see uh, right here in yellow, it appears that the backup type that you selected is not supported. So you need to click on copy only backup. So I clicked on copy only backup. Um, right here, one thing that I wanted to mention that uh, usually uh, in production environments, it's a good idea to have a central location of your backup. Uh, where all the replicas, uh, replicas can access that particular uh, location. So you need to provide that location. Let's say that you decided to leave that, uh, uh, that all the backups should go on their uh, local drives. Then in every script, this script will be generated with the F drive. You need to change that, uh, those drive letters according to the replicas. If you decide basically to go with the local drives, you can, however, it's... Uh, uh, modification in the script that we will generate in my case what I'm going to do I have created already uh, right here the let me this is my location this is my center location and I have created a share for that so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that this is my sec uh, central location for all my replicas so I'm going to provide that you have an option to keep the local but you have to modify again the script so let's go ahead and put that here I'm gonna do sales orders dot BAK and click on create subdirectory for each database and now if you need to uh, basically select any other option you can select it select it here and click on view t-sql this is the t-sql that we need to copy and uh, run in our uh, create our sql server agent job if you notice in this script right here set preferred replica 
that function that I was talking about, it already took it because it knew that this database is part of availability group. And in availability group, if, group, if DBA is going to create a job, I need to consider this function because with, with, without this function, it'll be confused at where, which replica should basically run the backup. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and select the whole thing and copy it, close. I'm gonna cancel this because I just used it to generate the script for me. I'm not gonna save it. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, create a new job on SQL Server agent. I'm gonna call it um, full backup underscore ag test and step like new nightly full backup. And I'm, to, I'm going to go ahead and paste this script, as you can see. Now, this script can be modified and can be made pretty. Uh, I'm going to leave, leave that up to you because right now the name is with this uh, date. But uh, you can modify this script to uh, put a date and time function right there. And every time the database uh, backup will be created, it, it will have that date and time stamp. You can do that later on. So click on uh, advance. If you wanted to uh, have the output in a certain file, you can click on output file and give that file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and click on schedule and pick a new schedule. Nightly full backup. And I'm gonna click on daily at 4 a.m and click OK and click OK alright so my job is created our next uh, schedule number three is done script SQL server agent job and run on all secondary replicas let's go ahead and take a look on our secondary replica this is our secondary replica so we're gonna go ahead and connect with that Let's first uh, generate the script, create the script as create as. I'm going to copy this script. This is what I was talking about that uh, if you wanted to keep the local right here, uh, you need to provide it should, uh, if I kept it local, it would say F drive and all the backup uh, path right here. You need to change that path. Uh, every time you need to run on a different replica. That's why I provided central location so that I don't have to change anything in this script and I'll go ahead and uh, run it on secondary replica. So I'm gonna connect with my secondary replica which is right here, New York Prod, connect. Click on databases, click on new query, paste this script right here and run it. All right, so jobs are created. Let me go ahead and take this because I want to know the, the output on each replica based on our uh, preference and I'll show you our preference as well. So I copied that. Let's go ahead and take a look on our uh, backup preference. So in order to get there, if you already have a uh, availability group, you need to right click on availability group click on properties and click on backup preferences as you can see that all the options that I was talking about earlier in the video was uh, number one prefer secondary secondary only primary any replica and when you click on any replica you have options also right here the backup priority right now is 50 50 I have only one uh, secondary and my option right now I only want to run my backups only on secondary I don't want uh, to run my backups um, on primary so uh, this will defeat the purpose if I would really run it on primary because uh, backups are expensive as far as uh, physical resources goes so I want to run on secondary and offload my production primary so uh, you can exclude any replica if you have uh, uh, six uh, in 2012 is uh, three and in uh, um, 2014 it's uh, probably seven that you can add 
but if you have more replicas you can exclude replica if particular replica that you don't want it to uh, take part in backup at all you have an option to exclude that replica from here you can change the priority uh, as it says the lowest priority is one highest priority is hundred if the uh, let's say that these are my two secondary and I made this uh, secondary 70 then my backup will run on this if uh, system has to decide that which secondary I should uh, run the backups so I just wanted to show you these option in my case the secondary only is the backup uh, uh, this is the where uh, the backup will run so let's go ahead and click OK now let's go back and as you can see that uh, this is my primary and I wanted to see that uh, if uh, my availability databases are in sync this is synchronized and other should say synchronizing right here if it's not saying if it says not synchronizing then you need to make sure that uh, the database uh, database movement is uh, uh, you know not suspended is resumed so uh, if it's suspended it is gonna think that uh, the secondary is not responding to me it's gonna think that uh, secondary replica is offline just so that you know as far as uh, because it does look at the database availability not just the SQL Server instance availability so um, right now this is my secondary since my option is that I only want to run on um, uh, secondary I am going to try it on my primary server primary replica right here so I'll go and since the job is same schedule is same so I'm gonna go ahead and click on start the job here and see if this job creates a backup for me so it's successful let's go in the history let's take a look in the detail and detail says nothing but this is the user that fired up this uh, um, step so let me go back to the location where we saved we the location that we gave it to save our backups as you can see that it did not create the backup it created the folder but it did not create the backup so let me go ahead and go on our secondary right here the same job is created on secondary right here so I'm gonna go ahead and start this job and see if this job creates a backup for us since my preference is that I want my secondary to take the backups not the primary and, and if this uh, particular AG group will fail mm -hmm. over from this server this SQL server instance to this SQL server instance this becomes primary then this guy according to my preferences this guy is not gonna take my backup this will take my backup so let me see that uh, if the backup is successful close let's take a look in the history as you can see that we got much more detail the percentage of completion so let's go in our backup and see this is the backup that gets created so basically this is how the preferences work and as far as uh, the priority goes uh, if you have multiple secondaries then your priority right here as I showed you earlier let's go back to that right here you can set the priority if you have multiple secondaries and you have selected just the secondary only then it's going to choose whatever the highest priority is to run your backup so these are the uh, different option that's available you know uh, it's a uh, kind of sometimes it's tricky to understand that uh, uh, where my backup is going to run and all these questions and I thought that I should go ahead and make a demo uh, live demo to make you understand that uh, what it means for these options as far as uh, the backup options goes and after the options what are the preference and how to set up the automatic uh, backup I hope this video helps